Hello everyone, it's DAGSS here. Um, well, I decided to do a new tutorial on how to use the TGB Dual uh, emulator to play uh, Pokemon online. Uh, because, yeah, uh, the previous one uh, wasn't that good and there are uh, many new players, so yeah, I wanted to do a new one. So, uh, yeah, let's go. So in the description I will leave you a link uh, with the uh, things you need to download, which is uh, this file. That uh, yeah, you have to download it on your computer and then uh, extract it. And uh, yeah, you will see uh, these files, the emulator and some folders. And uh, in the media folder you will see that I included some ROMs uh, for the second generation, the Pokemon Crystal and Pokemon Gold versions and for first generation uh, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Yellow of course you can download uh, other ROMs like a blue version or silver uh, put it here or other games that are not Pokemon but yeah uh, let's focus on that in this tutorial so yeah uh, well I will explain uh, how to use it so you just can open the emulator uh, here you will see in the menus uh, they are pretty straightforward, you can load your games, you can even load two games and play with yourself. Uh, but yeah, uh, the first thing you need to do is go to the options menu and go to folders and uh, put here uh, the folders which contain the saves and the ROMs which are uh, these two here. So yeah, you go here, uh, click there and select first the the save folder and then for the ROMs uh, you just have to select the media folder okay here no new folder and media okay perfect so after you do that you're ready to play and let's see how to do uh, uh, the net play so uh, first of all you if you are going to host uh, a game, you need to know how to do port forward if you are using a wireless router. And well, I can teach you how to do that because that depends on, on your router. But on the description, I will leave a link to this web page uh, which is called portforward.com that explains you how to do it here on on the left side you go to port forwarding guides and uh, you're going to see yeah uh, uh, the the brands of the routers you sh you just look for 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 your own one and then uh, there are the models and well they explain very easily how to do this so okay let's go again with the emulator you just need to go to the file menu net play option and this window will pop up and well there are many options so first here you have to choose uh, the ROM you're going to use and the ROM that your opponent is going to use so yeah uh, if you're using different versions you have to make sure you have uh, the version of your opponent because uh, if you don't have it it won't work so yeah, then we have this part called connection settings uh, where you have to select if you're going to be the server or the client. One player is going to be the server and the other one the client. So uh, first let's check what the server has to do. It has to check this part and then uh, select a port. Uh, I always use 65535 because it's easy to remember because it's written here and yeah uh, then you just have to click connect so yeah uh, for the one who is going to be the client uh, well it also has to select here the ROMs and then click on this option and right here the port that the server is going to use uh, you have to agree on that and then enter here the server IP so yeah, the one who is the server has to give uh, the other player his IP. You can use both Hamachi or real IP, which I think is more reliable. And yeah, if you don't know how to get your IP, I will leave a link to uh, another web page called What's My IP. And there you can copy and give it to the other player. And then the other player has to insert uh, that here. and. Uh, click connect 
And one important thing here is that the one that is server has to hit the connect button first because uh, the other way it won't work. So yeah, after that you just have to wait some seconds, be patient, and then the games will load and you just can play. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So yeah. Uh, apart from that, I was I, I I want to give you some more information about how to edit your Pokemon. I will leave you a link to this page uh, where you can download this editor called Picasab. Uh, just download the latest version, and here you will see some tutorials. And yeah, it's pretty simple to use. So yeah, you won't have uh, many trouble with that. Um, another information that I want to leave is, uh, well, if you don't know how to get the battles, I will leave a link to this list that I made with the names of the players who do first and second gen with their YouTube channels and their Skype names. Uh, you can just add them. Uh, yeah, I will leave the link in the description and it, all, it will also be on my channel. So yeah, that's all you know. You need to know, and um, I hope you enjoyed playing first and second gen. We'll see you next time. Peace.